Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate her. My motivator. Y'all make me greater. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Whip Smokes Wanted. He sent me some more t-shirts. I know in the past he sent me some hats and some shirts. He actually sent me two this time, but I already took one out. But I wanted to show y'all what he sent. Some air freshness. Box Chevys. Also G-Body one. Cutlass. Decal. Thank you for your support. I included a free complimentary G by the air freshness. And here's the shirt here. Yeah, I'll go check them out. I have this information down in the description. Back on the 87 LS Bro Hand Box here. Bro, whatever you want to call it. If y'all can recall my last video, I had finished up with the body work. I was trying to line this front end up because it's all aftermarket. Got that taken care of. And I decided to paint my front clip, the rear clip, and the front bumper fillers. Paint those separate. I'm not worried about the paint not matching because I done painted a lot of stuff separate and all the paint is matching because it's a dark color, so pretty much dark colors easy to match up if you paint it in a, at different times. And this is a base coat, clear coat pearl, so everything going good. But you can see a lot of tree sap done landed on this here. It's been sitting out. But, well, here go the, I can take the front bumper, pull it out. I haven't taken out the wrapper yet, but I'll take it out the wrapper for you. And I'll get the rear clip off and the front clip off and we'll get started. Here's the front clip. I sprayed it off. Got that tree sap off of it. Here's the rear clip. I'm gonna be wet sanding the front and the rear clip with some 400 grit. And I got the bumper filler down there in the sun. I'm trying to form it, get it to form in place. I should have been taking it out, but I didn't. Let me take it down there, show it to you. Yeah, I should have been taking it out the plastic. So the form in place. The end pieces need to be straight like that. I was thinking about cutting some wood out just to hold it in place until the sun heated up. Because I don't want to paint it like this here. Because when I uh, form it in place, it'll uh, stretch the paint, so I want to paint it like that. Yeah, I might just cut some wood put some legs on it to hold it in place. See the legs I had made for it. Hold that piece in place while the sun heated up. I might just keep that piece on there while I paint it. But on this here, I'm just gonna use a maroon scotch spray to scuff it up for paint. Cause all you gotta do, you see those scratches there? That's good enough there. So let's go back up here uh, on the rear clips and the front clip. With the rear clip and the front clip. Let's go up here, get started on it. Got a rigid block, soft block, and some 400 grit. Dropped in my soapy water and a rag. I'm going to use this rigid block in this area here, the flat area, soft block, around these contours, I might use just my hand on some of the spots, 
like here. We're gonna let that paper soak for a minute or two, then we'll get started. We're gonna get us our 400 grit, wrap it around our rigid block. And we'll start blocking this area here. We're moving the gag coat. Once all the gag coat is removed, you know that area is flat then. Like you still see some gag coat there. I mean, it's not flat. Let it keep going down. I done finished up sanding the front and the rear clip. Brought it back down here in the sun. Sort of dry on up. Now, I gotta do this bumper filler. I'm gonna take it up in the shade though, because I'm not gonna be standing down here in the sunlight. I'll be done. Fill out. Everything sanded. It's gonna be shot with the base coat. I done blowed it off. And then I wipe it down with some wax and grease remover to remove all my fingerprints and the oil. I'm using this prep oil, like always. Wipe it on with one cloth, wipe it off with the other. I decided to keep my legs there. Here's the base coat. It's the slick base sparkling Merlot Pearl, my Yuri can. Mix this two to one, two part material, one part reducer.
Here's three coats of base. Down here, you might see some imperfections and grit. I don't worry about getting this real smooth because the bumper filler going here goes from here down. And for the clear, I'm going with the Yuri Cam High Solid Glamour Clear. Three coats. Three coats of clear. One step closer. Paint the car. I'm going left. It's paint the car now. Tell me what y'all think about the color. Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we right from the bottom. Right from the 